Greetings, cosmic enthusiasts. Today we're diving into the depths of the universe exploring the Kardashev scale, a cosmic yardstick that measures civilizations based on their energy consumption. Buckle up for a journey through time and space as we unravel the secrets of the cosmos, starting with the brilliant mind of Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev in 1964. Imagine the year 1964, a time when the space race was heating up and dreams of cosmic exploration filled the air. Enter Nikolai Kardashev, a Soviet astronomer with a visionary idea, the Kardashev scale. This cosmic ruler wasn't just about measuring energy, it was about quantifying the potential of civilizations on a grand cosmic scale. The Kardashev scale isn't your ordinary tape measure, it's a yardstick that comes in three sizes, type 1, 2, and 3. These classes symbolize civilizations capable of harnessing planetary, stellar, and galactic energy, respectively. It's like a roadmap to becoming masters of the cosmos. Hold on tight because the Kardashev scale doesn't end at 3. Astronomers have expanded it to include types 0, 4, and 5. These extensions consider not just power levels, but also the depth of knowledge civilizations possess. The cosmic possibilities are as vast as the universe itself. Let's start with Type 1 civilizations. These cosmic beings can access all the energy available on their home planet, storing it for consumption. Picture having the power to control all of Earth's energy, from taming the weather to controlling volcanoes. It's a level of mastery we can only dream of. But hold on, there's more. Type 2 civilizations take center stage by directly consuming a star's energy possibly through the creation of a Dyson Sphere. Imagine harnessing the power of an entire star. These civilizations are like cosmic engineers, manipulating the very essence of stellar energy. Now brace yourselves for Type 3 civilizations. These entities can capture all the energy emitted by their entire galaxy and every object within it. We're talking about true galactic mastery, a level of sophistication that transcends our current understanding. But where does humanity fit into this cosmic hierarchy? Reality check, cosmic adventurers. As of now, the human race is nowhere near the Kardashev scale. We're stuck at a lowly type zero civilization, still relying on ancient energy sources like dead plants and animals. It's a stark reminder of how far we have to go. To reach type one status, we must make a colossal leap, over a hundred thousand times our current energy production. It's a journey that involves transcending our reliance on fossil fuels and embracing sustainable, advanced energy sources. The rewards? Mastery over Earth's forces and a future beyond our wildest dreams. But wait, there's more to the scale. Astronomers have extended it further, introducing Type 4 and 5 civilizations. These additions consider not only energy access but also the depth of knowledge civilizations possess. It's not just about power, it's about wisdom, and cosmic insight. Now let's delve into Type 1.0 civilizations, advanced beings that control the resources and available solar energy of an entire planet. Estimates suggest around 10 petawatts of power. It's not just about energy consumption, it's about comprehensive mastery over a planetary domain. As we journey through the cosmic hierarchy, let's take a glimpse into our past. Type 0.1 civilizations. Imagine fluid groups of hominids in Africa, armed with primitive stone tools. Intra-group conflicts are resolved through dominance, and between-group violence is common. It's a stark contrast to our present aspirations. Speaking of contrasts, let's delve into Type Zero civilizations. These are societies yet to harness all the energy output of their home planet. Unfortunately, this often involves the utilization of unsustainable energy sources like fossil fuels. It's a phase we, as a species, are still navigating through. Let's pause for a moment to reflect on the Kardashev scale. It's not just a measure of power, it's a gauge of our technological evolution. Proposed by Nikolai Kardashev in 1964, this scale has become a yardstick for civilizations striving to ascend the cosmic hierarchy. In Kardashev's exploration of civilizations, he questioned their ability to sustain themselves. In subsequent articles like on the inevitability and the possible structure of super-civilizations and cosmology and civilizations, he pondered the cosmic challenges of sustainability. A visionary indeed. 
But Kardashev didn't stop at theory. He proposed practical ways to detect super-civilizations and directed the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, programs. It's like he handed us the cosmic detective kit, urging us to explore the vastness of the universe for signs of advanced life. Before we wrap up our cosmic odyssey, let's consider Robert Zubrin's perspective. His definition of a Type 1 civilization revolves around achieving full mastery of a planet's resources. It's not just about energy. It's about becoming stewards of our planetary home. And there you have it, fellow cosmic wanderers. The Kardashev scale, from its inception in the brilliant mind of Nikolai Kardashev to the extensions proposed by astronomers. Humanity stands at the threshold of a cosmic evolution with the potential to transcend our current limitations. If you enjoyed this cosmic journey, hit that like button, subscribe for more cosmic content, and join us on our next venture into the cosmic unknown. Until then, keep looking up, and may the cosmic forces guide you on your journey.